Hi, I'm James from Electroprop and this is our latest conversion. We've covered a lot of ground in this conversion. I'm going to try and explain it to you here on this video. Uh, we'll start with, uh, I think, the most important thing, which is full GFCI coverage of the freshwater boat. And we do that at first at the dock, which is really cool. So we're going to show you, we got, uh, we've sent a smart plug to to North Shore and they uh, put our, ourselves a, a GFCI right on the plug, a four to six milliamp trip, basically an average of five milliamps. The accuracy is within one milliamp. So that comes on board the boat. We always use smart plug because smart plugs are the best. And then uh, I'll show you where the smart plug entrance is on the boat, right in here. Nice looking unit, little blue light on it, tells you that it's on. Now I will go on board the boat. Here's our unit here, lots of firsts here. It's an electroprop unit, it's a sailor. It's uh, rated at 7 kilowatts continuous. We have, uh, over here we have the wiring box, there's three fuses on there. One for the DC converter that runs the CAN bus, one for the temp reference, and one for the key switch which runs the CAN bus as well. So you can see in the back there, four North Star batteries, and the uh, Master Volt isolation transformer. The isolation transformer, in my opinion, is absolutely essential for a freshwater boat. And the reason is that it disconnects the grounds of the boat from the grounds of the dock. So what that does is it, it prevents stray electricity getting into the water and that, that's so critical because the, the issue is the electric shock drowning in, in fresh water which is because the human body is more conductive than fresh water is so electricity tends to gravitate to it. You have to remember electricity always looks for the lowest resistance path back to its source so in fresh water, that is the human body. So we want to absolutely prevent that. And it's, it's prevented on two ways. The electricity getting into the water that's coming from the boat, that's prevented. And, the, and it also prevents being the return path for a, another boat that's, that's uh, putting electricity into the water. So if you want to be absolutely sure that uh, you don't participate in, in electric shock drowning, you put an isolation transformer on board the boat. The other big thing about putting the GFCI on at the outlet um, before it comes into the boat at the, the shore power pedestal is that prevents someone kicking in an energized shore power cord into the water. And that does happen. So we want to just basically shut down the possibility of electric shock drowning and the combination of the GFCI at the pedestal and the isolation transformer is the only way of absolutely preventing that occurrence from happening.